Uh, I. But the the only thing I think is, uh, well, for one thing, I think it's great that we pulled out of the Paris Accords. I think uh, the United States and uh, the rest of the world was committed uh, to spend billions and billions of dollars on these crazy uh, global warming conspiracy plans. Well, if you look at the, if you, you know, there are, are think tanks who do economic analysis uh -huh. of the costs and benefits of doing this stuff. And a lot of these think tanks that are not necessarily politically liberal say that there's more money to be made from addressing global warming than ignoring it. For instance, uh, coal mining employs, like currently in the U.S., about 50,000 people. Um, and solar technology employs like four times that many with that number going up. It, it's, it, you make more jobs by investing in solar technology than you do in mining. And I mean, the, and the deal is like, all the pro most of the problems in the world, the ones that are gonna affect us over the next few decades, are gonna be solved by the market. The people making money off of fixing stuff are gonna be the ones who fix stuff. You're not gonna, the solutions are gonna come from, from economic incentives, not government economic incentives, but people saying, hey, here's a, now government can help with that, but mostly it'll be people saying, I can make a shitload of money um, by figuring out a way to build efficient seawalls to hold back rising sea levels. Um, you know, which you'll have to put around lower Manhattan, that you'll, have, that you may, you'll have to put around parts of Florida, that you, you may have to do some stuff, you know, outside of New Orleans where the barrier, I don't know, shoals have been uh, washed away or, or pruned away. Um, somebody who figures out a, 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 a reasonable solution to some aspect of every aspect of climate change is going to make money. So why are you making my argument? Which is? Which is, we don't need the government to step in and start managing this. People will deal with it on their own. You've just proved it. I, I, can't, I can't make a better argument. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Yeah, all right. so you are that. now a Republican. The Republicans, it looks like, according to Rick, are right about no, the climate change no, thing. No, 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 no. Capitalism yeah. and, and free enterprise will take care of it. You, Thank you, Rick. You and I are just a little bit too young to have been around when Sputnik went up. In 57, I think, the first Russian, the first satellite in space, and Russia put it up. And the U.S. shit its pants and decided that we needed to encourage all sorts of science education. And we probably had, you know, the, the whole curriculum was looked at and, and made more science intensive, and we, we pushed our space program. We got a lot of technological benefits from that. Um, and that was government encouragement of both public and private enterprise um, to, to catch up and with and beat the Russians. And it makes sense to do the same thing with something like climate change. Encourage science. No, it, it, it's, it's not the entire solution, but um, saying fuck you environmental regulations and, and promising that you're gonna put 50,000 miners back to work, which is a, a fake statistic since there are only about 50,000 miners at work at all in American mines, that's bullshit. Well, Rick, we don't have to do anything for the miners except get out of their way. If it wasn't for you Democrats, the miners would be working and, uh, and the market would take they care are, of what they know, need. The miners are working to the extent that they're needed. No, they, no, the market is declining. And I've, I can tell you this, you like facts. The yeah. fact is that fracking, even though it, it's got a lot of problems, the na natural gas, fracking has made natural gas economically 
sensible as an energy source. And I thought Democrats hate fracking. Yeah, but fracking is done. Fracking is what's fucking up the mining industry. Well, I, I know for a fact that, that Obama put a huge number of regulations on the mining industry and drove a lot of them out of business, and that was a goal of his. That was an announced goal. I don't, I, I don't know if I can find it on the internet well, right say, now. Well, say even if it is a goal of his. So yes, if, it was. To so, put miners out of business. Yeah, but how, when you Thank talk you, about, Democrats. When you talk about Another miners. Another great idea. When you talk about miners, you're talking about a population of 50,000 workers, which is piddly compared to... I thought you were a compassionate for the working man liberal. You don't care about those miners. Re-educate the miners. Re-educate them? You know what? They can re-educate you. It's none of your business. If they want to live their life and they're not bothering you, they're how, in, how dare they're you in, step in and put them out of their work? The, typical the market typical is, Democrat. The market is putting them out of their work. No, it's Obama that was putting them out of their Bullshit. work. Bullshit. Fracking and natural gas. You want to stop fracking. Yeah, but it's not stopping. It's not stopping. It's There's not stopping fracking. because the Republicans are keeping it alive. They're standing in the way of, of crazy Re liberals that want to shut it down. Well, it, when fracking, when they put, inject wastewater, waste fracking liquids into the ground and fuck up entire water systems. Yeah, that's all a myth. It it never read about the shit. Look at the that, what it, about it, the what about the faucets where the flames shoot yeah, out? Yeah, that was that was a myth. That was all made up. It was completely debunked. A, a bunch of a liberal reporters went in there and they made that whole story up. What they, I know there was a town in the Midwest. You, you can Google this. It it was all retract. It was all denied. It was all retracted. It was all exposed. It didn't happen. So no earthquakes happen where you inject wastewater into the ground. I have heard something waste, about waste that. Fracking I don't know enough about it. Well, I'll I can tell you this. You. Okay, fine. Waste fracking me. liquids yes. are the KY of the Earth's crust. You inject a, a, a bunch of that shit into the ground to get rid of it. You start lubricating faults, and you start getting... Wait, wait a minute. Don't say the word lubrication, because I can't paint when I hear that word. All right, go ahead. You, you lubricate faults. You... you, you cracks between large bodies of rocks get all lubed up and they start moving around and you have a bunch of earthquakes in states that aren't known for having a shitload of earthquakes oklahoma um i don't know missouri okay let me ask you this now i i'm just i'm i don't know a lot about this but well, they've been fracking in california for uh, you know 50 years they're fracking in los angeles they're fracking in well, Los they, they, Angeles they, tonight. Yeah, but they've How been do they to do get... it without, without causing the city to fall into the sea? Well, how do you know that there aren't more earth? Well, freaking, I don't know how, what the situation is with California. Because no, California they're gets... They frack, in, they frack in the middle of Los Angeles. Yeah, but California has a steady stream of earthquakes anyhow. So I don't know if fracking adds to the earthquakes we have or not. But I know in states where you don't normally have earthquakes, um, you get earthquakes. Okay. Um, and you get, regardless of what you say, in, in places where you inject the, this fracking liquid, which is like a hundred different chemicals in this terrible cocktail of shit, if you don't inject it correctly, that shit gets into the water table and starts fucking things up. Okay. If... And, but regardless of that, and it's, it's the market that is fucking up miners more than Obama.